All righty, everyone, you can all see that the GOAT, Jizzy Joe Biden, is back with more gold chains and new drips, and I'm here to witness the battle against Whitney. Oh, great. Just the person I needed for this battle. Uh, that was sarcasm, by the way. But anyway, remember to hit that like and subscribe button, everyone. This here is the battle you've all been waiting for. And she's warning us that she's good, and we can all vouch for that. Whitney is an incredibly strong Pokemon trainer and gym leader. So let's get this show on the road, boys. All righty, well, it's a three versus six battle first off. And her first Pokemon is Lickitung. I wasn't expecting to see this Pokemon, so I'm not sure if this will be tough. And this was such a bad idea to go into this battle with only three Pokemon, bro. I even saw comments saying, you need to go back and catch Spiridon because even the viewers know you'll need all the help you can get. Well, maybe I will later, but it's too late now for that Donald. And anyway, I just beat her first Pokemon, so this battle is already going off to a great start. Yeah, but look who she's sending out now, Barry. The devil itself has arrived on our screens. Who would have thought in the history of Pokemon that a goddamn mill tank of all things would give us players the most trouble? Well, it's only because of a track that it does Joe. Honestly, we would have been super lucky if we had caught ourselves a female Pokemon, but alas, it wasn't meant to be. And now Obama thinks he can beat Whitney with these three Pokemon. And this has already become annoying since Body Slam can cause us paralysis like that. Luckily, I have lots of Paralyze Heals and I even found a Hyper Potion in Full Restore, which I'm sure will come in handy here. You're gonna have to be prepared for Whitney to use lots of healing items as well, though. I feel like the gym leaders are way more unhinged when it comes to using items in battles in this game. It makes it way harder and way more annoying, too. Okay, well, here we go with the infatuation. Charmeleon is in love already, and we have basically no good moves to use against Miltank. I so should have gone off screen and caught that Spiritomb for you, Barry. How the hell does this Miltank manage to do so much damage to us as well? I mean, look at our health already being in the yellow like that. This Miltank is absolutely cracked or she's used an action replay to give it max stats. You have Jizzy Joe Biden on your side though, bucko, so don't worry. And using smokescreen like that was actually quite smart, I must say. There's nothing she'll be able to do then to get her accuracy back up if we lower it a lot. Okay, well, this was the perfect time to use my full restore, so you two better not complain. I can use any items I want in this difficult battle. And the smokescreen came in clutch just now since her attack missed but of course she would hit us again with body slam and get another paralysis on us too. I swear, there's meant to be a percentage chance of that happening, or we're just getting very unlucky. Okay, well, while you deal with Miltank Barry, I'm going to ask the question for our lovely viewers for this episode, which is, which Elite Four member in all the games gave you the most difficulty and why? Yo, interesting question there. I think the answer for me would have to be Drake from Hoenn. He's one tough cookie with his dragon-type Pokemon and also my rival in the rap scene, too. Wrong Drake, you dumbass Jizzy Joe. But yeah, I see your point on him being difficult. I think Lance should also be considered in Generation 1 since he's technically the fifth Elite Four member because Blue becomes champion before us. Yeah, good choices there. I'd say Generation 4 probably has the strongest trainers in any Elite Four, though. All of them just hit hard and are very difficult. And then, of course, you have to deal with our girl Cynthia at the end, which is probably why they're so tough. Yeah, well, anyway, let us know what you all think below. And remember to hit that like button for Obama since we're almost four minutes in and he still hasn't lost any of our Pokemon yet. Oh, we almost took Miltank out there with that Psybeam attack. That was so close, Obama. And by the way, I bet Whitney could give Cynthia a run for her money if they were to battle. Oh, damn, I just need to outspeed it, and then this stupid cow can go burn in the fiery pits of Pokemon hell. Ah, hell yeah, Barry. You did it. You sent that mill tank packing to the distortion world, which means the rest of this battle should be easy peasy. And the MVP for sure of this is Espeon. It's just the best. And now she's sending out low punny, and I'm going to have to ask you both to keep the jokes PG and not X-rated if you get my drift. As far as I'm concerned, this is all her fault for using this Pokemon to begin with, so you can't expect us to not say anything, can you? Alrighty, well, I'll take command of the conversation whilst you two watch this thing get nuked. Luckily, it's only level 21 and we got Mill Tank out the way early in the battle, so I feel a lot less stressed now. Oh, of course this thing would get us to fall in love with it too. It's like it's begging us to take the piss out of this Pokemon now. I don't like a lady who's taller than me personally, but I guess Crokinaw wouldn't mind Elamel. Yeah, well, our boy is going to evolve into Feraligator very soon, Donald, and then 
it'll come back for a rematch and show this low punny who the boss is. Right now, I feel like we're just its bitch. That is absolutely what it feels like right now. And it even has dizzy punch, which causes us to become confused. Like what even is the strat Whitney is going for here? She's just going at us from all angles, it seems. I mean, low punny isn't exactly threatening to us, let's be honest. It's more of an annoyance for now, especially with the attract and confusion. You're in charge, Donnie, is what was just written on the screen. And boy, my ego liked that sentence a lot. What a great name you bestowed on the MVP of this series, Barry. I seriously mean that. Damn, that was so close there, Obama. Maybe if Espion was one level higher, we could have taken this thing out. I mean, we're already 10 levels higher, and it still somehow survived our confusion attack. That's pretty insane. And we almost died again, so there goes another one of my super potions in the reserve. Whitney is definitely gonna drain us to pieces of our medicinal stockpiles, boys. She better give us enough money when I beat her to get it all back. Well, at least with this last confusion attack, this provocative bunny will get sent to the distortion world along with Miltank where they both belong for eternity. Uh, Giratina should feed on their souls. All right, so we're halfway through this wretched battle, and so far we haven't lost anyone, which is a miracle. And now she sent out Stantler, which is a Pokemon we haven't seen in ages, and one I think gets forgotten about a lot. Well, remember that they came up with an ancient Stantler in Pokemon Legends Arceus. I think that one called Weird Ear is pretty neat, and you even get to ride on its back. And to those of you asking, yes, we will be playing Legends Arceus soon especially since the year is almost coming to an end and we want to be ready for Pokemon Legends ZA. Yep, and that should make Donald happy since he loves Arceus and he even made it our channel's mascot. We even have a bunch of Arceus plushies in our homes to celebrate the Lord Almighty himself. Hey, oh my God, does all Whitney's Pokemon have a tract on them or what? Now we have to deal with it again against Stantler and I never even knew this Pokemon could learn a tract. I mean, I'm pretty sure that attract is a normal type move, Donald. So of course, her whole team is going to use it on us. It's like the main reason why Whitney is so difficult to deal with. If she didn't have a track, then this battle is like any other normal third gym battle in the series. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Whitney is only hard because of that one move. And we can't even use moves like disable on it too. Although saying that, I'm pretty sure there are items which can be used to negate the effects of moves like attract. Yeah, but after this battle, those items are completely pointless. Anyway, Barry should have Stantler dealt with by the time I finish talking. So let's see what's next. Finally, the crit gods are on my side and I managed to take out Stantler with water gun and a critical hit too. Only two Pokemon left, boys. I hope you're all proud of me. Well, this battle isn't over yet. And now she's sending out Clefable. And this Pokemon can be a real problem too, Barry, so be careful. I'm pretty sure this one has Metronome as one of its moves. Okay, well, we can't even attack right now because we have to cure the paralysis from earlier. And knowing our luck, this thing will just do the same again. Oh, I think we got lucky, actually, Jizzy Joe. Since Whitney used Reflect, not a move I'd be particularly worried about, to be honest. Well, I'm popping the big smoke screen so Cleafable won't be able to attack as usual, boys. This strat never fails and will definitely save me from more harassment later from this stupid pink fur ball. Holy shit, Barry, you got so goddamn lucky there, oh my god. Yup, and that's our cue to back out and run away. You actually got so insanely lucky there, my guy. Charmeleon is probably going to be the most useful Pokemon on our team when it's fully evolved and you almost ruined it for us. Damn, this Clefable has a move that's super effective against both starter Pokemon on our team, holy hell. Like, what even is this battle anymore? And then imagine we'll have to rebattle her again at some point too, guys. And popping the hyper potions, are we now, Barry? I can sense the frustration in you growing by the minute, and I find it hilarious. But use anything you want. And here's the attract again, for God's sake. All her damn Pokemon, I mean, seriously? Doesn't she get bored of using that move? I would get bored after a while because it just drags the battle out. Yeah, I agree with that. And on top of that, of course, this Pokemon of hers would have a citrus berry to heal itself up too. This is just the most annoying battle I've ever had to deal with since I first played Pokemon 25 years ago. Well, luckily our Espeon is a tank and no water pulse or charge beam attack will be able to take it out. The other two are probably gonna be useless for the rest of this battle. So let's focus on giving Espeon all the love. Something you could actually do after this battle 
Barry is buy the X items from the Pokemart. Those could be quite useful for our future battles in the long run. I'll think about that Jizzy Joe, but look boys, we're on to her final Pokemon, and it's a piece of shit wiggly tough. I mean, how hard could this thing be to beat LMAO? What a dumb Pokemon. Well, luckily, Espeon has Sand Attack, which can also lower Wigglytuff's accuracy, too. And there it is again, a track back out in full force. She's probably going to go all out on us now, Barry, so be prepared since she is, in fact, a sore loser, as we all know. Okay, and other than attract, this thing has Ice Beam, which might do a lot of damage to us, although I'm not sure. It has the potential to freeze us as well, which wouldn't be great. I don't have anything to help us if that happens. Oh, for God's sake, this thing has Wish 2, boys. All right, this battle is about to get even more infuriating for us now. If any of you don't know what this move does, then you're in for a wild ride. That move basically restores Wigglytuff's health all the way to half or something like that, I believe Donald. Definitely gonna be annoying to deal with since we're gonna be immobilized by love every other turn too. Yeah, this is where Disable would have been useful or something, boys. But anyway, I guess my only strat for this one is to keep spamming Sand Attack and hope they hit, and then I'll have to spam the remaining Super Potions I have left. Either that or we wait for Wish to run out of power points. I don't know how many it has, but I know we could do that. It would make this battle super long and drawn out, though, which I prefer not to have. Uh, basically, we're going to be banking on a critical hit being on our side. To be honest, Jizzy Joe, there's no way confusion is strong enough to take this out with one shot. So basically, our Espeon isn't at its full potential because of a shit move we have on it. And Wish just restored its health all the way back up to full again, for God's sake. Okay, after this, I'm going to be doing some major move changes and training, and that Spirit Ohm is definitely joining our team. And damn Ice Beam, there did quite a bit of damage to us as well. If we had Umbrian, we'd probably be in a better position defensively, but at least with Espeon, our moves will hit more, which is what I like anyway. I mean, look at that. This bullshit Pokemon somehow lives with one health point left, and now, of course, it'll just use Wish again and heal, or Whitney will pop another Super Potion. Oh, you jinxed that one, you fool, Barry. Why did you have to say she'll use a Super Potion because now we're back to square one, and that Wish is going to get granted too? Oh, wonderful. Uh, back to full health again, so everything we've set up was all a waste of time. I want to know if Sand Attack will actually cause Wish to not be used as well, by the way. I hope it does for my sanity. Well, after checking my reserves, it turns out I have two Hyper Potions and full restores, so using them strategically is going to be the way to go here, boys. Using them means absolutely nothing to us, Barry. She can just keep using Wish, too. So we're basically in a stalemate here until someone gets a critical hit. Knowing your luck, it won't be us. Yeah, worst case, we may have to edit the boring bits out because I'm going to fall asleep when half the battle against Whitney was literally against a wiggly tough of all things. Calm your rage, Donald. We're not editing anything out here because I want it to go down in history that your boy Barack Obama beat Whitney on my first try. To be fair, I expected you to use way more hyper potions or something during the battle, Barry, and you didn't apart from two, and some super potions as well. So I guess that's pretty good, all things considered. Okay, well, I should probably let you into a little secret, Jizzy Joe. Whilst you both weren't looking, I may have found some extra healing items for Barry because I knew this battle could probably end us. And you're right, he hasn't used as many as I thought. So that's why my potion stock supply kept going up whenever I started recording Donald. Although at least you haven't hacked in an Arceus or something yet. You better not do that. And now we're actually frozen, Barry. So Pop, that last full restore, you have no thanks to Donald and let's end this quick. If we get frozen again, we're gonna be royally screwed. This Wigglytuff is the most unhinged Pokemon I think we've ever had the joy of encountering boys. It just loves using Wish all the damn time and I don't get why. This is all Dreyano's fault too, I hope you both know. Yeah, we blame you Dreyano, but still thank you for making this amazing ROM hack as well. It's the best game we've ever played, even if this battle is just pure hell. I think we need to have another topic of conversation because this battle is just turning into a wish fest since that's all Whitney seems to be good at doing. How about I talk about how I'm just the superior Pokemon trainer amongst the three of us? And if we ask the viewers that they'd agree with me, I'm definitely better than Obama, that's for sure. Or Donald, we can talk about our favorite gym leaders in the Johto region. And for me, it's definitely not Whitney if anyone was surprised by that. You said you want to talk about our favorite gym leaders and then start bashing Whitney. So what's that about then? He's just mad that he's so bad at Pokemon because he's had to dedicate an entire episode of this series 
into battling one gym leader, which I don't think has ever happened before to us ever. Come on, you gotta both agree this battle is just unnecessary in a billion different ways. Why I think Drayano had the most fun with building Whitney's team. He probably did have a lot of fun making her team and knew the torture people would be put through, especially when they thought it would be easy after beating Miltank. Uh, I think my counterpart is about to take over my brain with how this battle is going, and then I'll just end up falling asleep or something. Oh, God, no, please hang in there, Jizzy Joe. Don't leave me alone with this fool. I'm sure Barry has almost got this battle in the bag. Oh, what in the actual fuck? This thing has psychic, too. I mean, of course it does. Why should I even be surprised? Yeah, like I said, I'd rather the normal Joe take over at this point. Whitney has destroyed my soul and will to live. It's just this goddamn Pokemon that's causing us problems. I think the real god of the Pokemon world is this Wigglytuff now thinking about it. Holy shit, I actually beat this stupid garbage Pokemon. Oh my god, I'm actually gonna cry. I've been internally crying ever since that Wigglytuff appeared on our screen. But thank god this is over holy hell. And of course, Whitney's gonna have her little meltdown as usual, but oh my God, I need to go sleep after this, Barry. Remember to like and subscribe, everyone. I am out of here. All righty, well, looks like Donald left and can't say I blame him, to be honest. Anyway, I need to go out, find a cliff, and I think Jizzy Joe is gonna sleep for half a century. Yeah, I am so done now. Barry, before we end this episode, though, make sure to go next door and pick up the squirt bottle, too. Oh yeah, we need that to get that strange tree to move out the way later on. But anyway, seriously, thank you so much for watching, everyone. This battle was really frustrating for us. So remember to subscribe and consider joining our channel and Patreon below. Yeah, part seven or whatever the next episode is will be out next week sometime, we hope. I may need a long break after this one, though, so if you don't see me again, don't bother to look for me. That's right, so take it easy, everyone. Have a lovely day in week two. And remember, we have lots of other videos for you to check out whilst you wait for part seven.